I'm Jasun Okrahor, PMP, and I work for a project management organisation um, as a volunteer, PMI, which is very known, well known internationally, and I also work as a consultant. And um, the, the question comes about the skills that are required, uh, what's the market demand for PM skills? Well, I describe it this way. Um, uh, projects are things that we need to do. We try and get them done. And to get them done, it's cleverer to use previous experience than to make a mess. So project management is really leveraging from past ex experience and success to make sure that things that we're doing happen. So the market demand is huge because in, in all areas of the world, in all lines of business, things happen on a project basis. Everything, even when times are bad, getting out of the problem is a project. It's something we want to do, finish, and then move on. Um, in developing parts of the world, we need to do that. In businesses, in areas where there has been financial crisis or after hurricanes, it's always a project uh, approach gives you a uh, conclusion, it gives you, it delivers something. So that, I think the demand is, is unending. So in terms of, of skills required, I mean, I think the skills are two things. One of them is in an organization and the other is in a person. And uh, there's no point in having a very highly skilled project manager who works in an organization where the organization doesn't understand project management. So we really need two things in parallel. And the successful organizations are the ones that understand what's happening and provide the opportunity for their project managers to learn. And there are two big ways of learning. One way is experience, putting people into the right jobs, giving them an opportunity, giving them a free hand, and saying, look, this is what we would like you to do. Um, and the other way is to consolidate the experience of others, and that is, is often called education or training. But what it really means is somebody consolidates the experience and makes it easier and faster to learn. Um, and you need both of those. Yeah. And uh, if things are not going fast enough or well enough, then it may be one side or the other that needs more, more support. So how, how, do the, um, how do they bridge the gap? Well, there's all sorts of ways of doing it. Um, but one of them is to, to uh, seed the activity, try and get involvement of experienced people so that when projects are going on, uh, that they, they already benefit. You don't have to teach everybody. You can bring people in or be associated with people, and that can be done with all the usual channels, consultancy and so on, and also, of course, organizations like the Project Management Institute, um, where you have huge networking opportunities on a global scale. And uh, another comment here was advice to aspiring project managers. I would say that it's, um, it's a very good area to get into because project management is generic. Um, and as your career develops and you move from one area to another, you can still use the skills. So I would focus on project management. It's certainly an option, a very good career option to focus on that and, uh, for example, uh, uh, do a, a PMP qualification because by doing that you're, you're brought in contact with the major ideas that are out there. So that's my uh, contribution, my, my ideas on this. As somebody once said to me, you may or may not agree with me, but these are my opinions. Thank Thanks very much. Thank you.